This is your NBC 26 News Update. I'm Nina Sperano. From the Packers to the Oscars, you may be able to legally bet on these types of events right here in Wisconsin. This comes after Governor Tony Evers and the United Nations signed a deal allowing professional sport betting and event wagering at the Tribes Casino and other facilities. The U.S. Bureau of Indian Affairs still needs to approve the agreement. There is less than three months to go until the Ryder Cup comes to Whistling Straits in Sheboygan, and the PGA is still looking for hundreds of local workers to staff it. The Ryder Cup director at PGA America says they created a job match program to find and connect workers of all backgrounds in Wisconsin to both full and part-time work before, during, and after the Ryder Cup in September. As we come out of this pandemic, families are spending more time on their devices. An expert on early cognitive de development says excessive screen time can have negative effects on the development of young children. She recommends that children consume content in a way that they can interact with others and says parents should monitor their kids' screen time to make sure what they're viewing is age appropriate. Time now to check on our weather. Here's Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland now. Cameron. Hi, Nina. After a cool start to July with lots of sunshine and lower 70s, we're going to warm up a little bit tomorrow, upper 70s to around 80. The normal high is 80. And then we're really going to warm up over the holiday weekend, lower to mid 90s for Saturday, the 4th of July, and also Monday. No problems for fireworks displays Saturday or Sunday evening. Chance for a few showers and thunderstorms on Monday, especially towards the evening, and then a little bit cooler as we head into the middle part of next week. Have a great night, everybody.